Often, in the beginning of a new chapter, it can feel like you're sailing a rowboat in open water. And sometimes all you have is the imagery of something better on the horizon before you can actually physically see it with your own eyes. And also, sometimes all you have are the memories of an unfulfilled past to keep you in a row and give you the motivation to keep going. In this video, I want to talk about the stage of limbo to your higher self or to this higher timeline that you're trying to reach. So that one, you don't feel crazy with all of the complex emotions that come with being in this transitional period. Two, so that you have the courage to stay in this metamorphosis, no matter how sticky and uncomfortable and tight it may feel. Oftentimes, it's not even in the new destination that scares us, it's the journey on the way and how lost we feel in the in-between of where we are and where we want to be. So, hopefully what I say is of service to you today. These are the exact emotions that I'm feeling actually right now, so it's such a perfect time. So I really do appreciate the creator that gave me this idea so that we can have a community of talking about this together. Let's get started. I think the only way that we could fully give this newer version of ourselves the energy that it deserves is that we accept and receive our divine departures and actually seeing this ending as a positive step in the direction of our desires. Sometimes our past doesn't have to necessarily be bad or wrong for it to just not be 100% right for us and that's okay. I was reading an article. I was actually reading an article the other day that states marking a distinct break from the past version of ourselves and tying it to a specific event, whether physically in the 3D or mentally in our minds, is a great way to start the transitioning process of moving towards our next chapter or the higher version of ourselves. We have to mark our tipping points, what leads us to the change, what is that one defining moment that broke us or maybe gave us a different perspective that said, hmm, after experiencing this specific event or going through this mental process of emotions, I never want to reach this point again or this is the moment that I change for the rest of my life. There's people that can quit things cold turkey. What is the cold turkey moment in your life that tells you that this is not you or this is not the direction that you want to go and it moves you to change? My example or the incident that got me let go from my job recently was probably a negative act in the 3D for them, but it was finally me standing up for myself and my integrity and no longer letting some middle-aged woman define my character as negative because she felt inferior to me. I knew that in choosing myself, it would result in the end of a chapter, and I've done too much work to allow someone unhealed and unaware to use me as a distraction from the work that they need to do in their own life. At first it was a blow, but then I had to realize I never belonged there. Black excellence rarely does well in spaces like the one that I resided in for so many years, so for the first time in like seven years, I chose myself over code switching to make them feel superior to me. I was getting paid, but not enough to be bullied by some ex-mean girl trying to flex her old skills on the only black girl in the place. Next, we craft a positive story that ties our past and our future together. Depending on the situation, you realize that those things had to happen to get you closer to your desires. For example, if I want to be a creator full time, I needed to have the schedule that would allow me to invest the time that I need to. But because of my loyalty to others, I would have never chosen myself and my creative ideas over my job or someone else's business. Until now, until I finally reached a moment where I realized, you know what? I'm, maybe I'm not supposed to be working for others. Maybe that's not a part of my personality style. I like being of service. It's easy for me to extend myself to others, but because of all of the growth and the change that I've developed over the years and the way that I lead in my life, I can't just pretend like all of it didn't exist. And when you have different energies that experience that, and especially when they are trying to bring about some type of authority and dynamic with who they feel works for them, I always get that I am intimidating or I rub others the wrong way just because of how I lead in my life. 
this is who I am and I'm not going to cut it off for a couple of dollars. In this lesson, what I realize is that some of us are just big fish in small ponds. And it doesn't matter how slow we swim or how much they're picking at our eyes for nourishment and we're giving rides on our backs. The minute that we sneeze, because of our size and because of who we are, we're automatically seen as a predator. And it's up to us to use our strength and our abilities and everything that we've learned to actually get into deeper and wider waters where we can actually live to our full potential. We're never going to be the people that we're meant to be. We're never going to be the entities that God wants us to be or that sees for us when we're existing in spaces where we do not belong. I want you to be reassured that there is nothing left in the life behind you. Every speck of amount of growth that you needed to receive in that past life, you've already gained it. And I think that realization alone should incite some curiosity in you to go all in wherever you're headed. I want you to remember that you are multifaceted. Sometimes what we do for a living can easily define us enough to make us feel stuck. I'd like for you to take some time to journal all of your strengths and talents just to remind yourself that you are more than who you were every chapter you gain a new tool to add to your tool belt of amazing gifts and positive traits your hobbies are also ways to bring you abundance if you decide and remind yourself that you have options no one is ever meant to stay stuck in the same timeline and sometimes i think that's when the insanity and the anger and depression sinks in it's when you realize you're more than your situation without the tools to move out of it it takes a lot of willpower to move through the tar of your old mindsets and mistakes but it doesn't make it completely impossible when we journal and we spend time with our higher self it's us receiving the rope we need to pull ourselves out of our situation so take it and trust that whatever is speaking to you it's going to mean the most good when you finally healed your inner voice to be on your side and not shut you down you have no idea the amazing places it's going to take you. So trust it, take it, and surrender to it and go along for the ride. Don't be afraid to dream. I think our supernatural powers exist in our ability to create and dream. Isn't it truly divine that everything that we see is something that was once conceptualized in a dream to someone else? A lot of us are existing in someone else's dream and we don't even realize it. When we're stopping at a stoplight or we're driving in our car, all of those things that make our lives what it is today were once a speck of matter of a thought and it was someone's bravery and courage that decided to wake up one day and say, it's my duty and it's my divine right to bring this into the world. I'm going to go into this direction fully and just see where it takes me. Little did they know that it would change our entire world in the way that we operate in it. And we all have that power and ability. Sometimes I think we get so comfortable with who we are that we completely forget how absolutely amazing and wildly creative and abundant we actually are. I want you to know that you're a big deal, so I dare you to dream. If you can look around at the people in your life and notice that they're pretty much sleepwalking, rarely are they living in a dream for themselves. With this awareness, it is your due diligence and responsibility to create the future for others. Create the future not only for a better life for yourself, but for this next world that we all will exist in. So let's get to it. I'm so excited for you in this next chapter of your life. I hope whatever I said today will bring you so much clarity and just give you that breath of life just to keep going. You know, transitions are extremely hard and they're very scary and it feels like a big pit in your chest. It feels like you're going ex insane sometimes. I know that I do because I'm the only one with the vision of my life and sometimes I can't even see that clearly but I know that I'm onto something and sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes I feel like if God really revealed the ending result of what it was all meant to be at the end of the road, then maybe the journey wouldn't feel so exciting. But there's something very exciting on the horizon for you, and I know you feel it. And what's amazing is that you know that you're special. You know that you're chosen. 
You know that you were not given these thoughts and these aspirations just for nothing. I feel like God already did the work by creating you as perfect as you are. It's your job now to bring all of that greatness into the world and create a heaven on earth. So make waves. Be all that the divine has created you to be. I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching. If this video was at all of service to you, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have a specific journey that you'd like to share. I'm pretty sure it will be helpful to anyone that reads it. Thank you all so much for just continuing to be your amazing selves and I'm super excited for the things that you will create in this world. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.